so hole number one, you want to avoid the bunker uh, to the right off the tee. Uh, on your approach, make sure to get, make sure to take enough club to get over the false front of the green. Uh, from there, it should be an easy uh, two putt. Hopefully make a nice par and move on to the next hole. So hole number two, you want to stay to the left side of the large bunker off the tee. The second shot is blind, so follow the fairway. Play this, 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 this is a three shot hole. If you're feeling aggressive, you can go forward in two. Just make sure you keep to the left, over the left bunkers. Uh, otherwise, three shot hole, but a good birdie opportunity. A good drive here will leave a mid to long iron approach to an elevated green. Missing the green shorter left will make for a tough up and down. Par is a very good score here. Okay, so hole number four, there's plenty of room left of the two fairway bunkers off the tee, and it leaves a good angle into the green. Uh, this is another good birdie opportunity here. Try to take advantage of a good, a good, a good drive and a good second shot. Hole number five, this is a short hole that will test your nerve. The green falls away to the left and is much better, much better than long. Anything, anything left or long here will be very tough. Long will be into a penalty area and left will be a very tough up and down. There's plenty of room to the right off the tee, so avoid the water. The green slopes away from you on the approach shot. Longer hitters here will have an opportunity to go for the green. Could potentially be an eagle opportunity or an easy birdie, but if the tee shot goes awry, it could be tough to even make par. Aim your tee shot at the directional pole at the top of the hill. Three good shots will leave you with a good birdie opportunity. Longer hitters here could take advantage of this and try to go for it in green too. But just be careful as you get around the green. This is a long par three, often plays into the wind. Avoid the bunkers on the left and play for par. A good bailout spot is here to the right or just short of the green. But again, a three here is a very good score. So hole number nine, great par four. The bunker in the middle of the fairway can bring big numbers into play. The green falls away on the left side. Par is always a good score in this hole. If you happen to make a birdie, that's even better. Longer hitters will take this tee shot over the bunker in the middle of the fairway. If not, you're gonna start to try to stay to the right there. Hole number 10, great par four. This hole looks easy, but errant drives are penalized and your second shot must carry onto the green. Left or right off the tee can be a very difficult second shot or can even be a lost ball. Just short of the green, there is a penalty area that runs in between. So make sure you hit two good shots here and look for a score of four. All right, so hole number 11. This is the number one handicap hole on the golf course. This hole demands focus on every shot. The green is one of the most severe on the golf course, and par is a great score here. Hole number 12, the bunkers on the left must be avoided off the tee. The small green requires an accurate approach. Hole number 13 is a great par three, uh, one of the shortest holes on the golf course, but one of the most difficult. Distance control is key on this short hole. Uh, long or short off the green makes, it, makes par very difficult. If you go short, you're gonna end up in the, the bottom pit. If you go long, you're gonna end up in a bunker. Both are very tough up and downs. Hole number 14 is a great par five. Uh, one of the best looking views of the golf course and the greatest tee shots. Um, but you must be focused on your shot due to the out of bounds bordering the, the entire right side of the hole. Uh, left here off the tee is fine. And then staying left as you go down the hole is another good, good one as well too. Uh, longer hitters will have a chance here to get on the green too. Hole number 15, great par three. It's an uphill par three that plays longer than the yardage. Shots to the right side of the green will feed back to the left. A very accurate 
uh, tee shot here will lead to a great score. Hole number 16 is a fun par four. Uh, this tee shot is all about position. You wanna aim for the directional pole at the top of the hill. The second shot plays significantly downhill, so don't be long. There is a penalty area long. Um, this hole is a definitely a risk reward. If you choose to, you can go for the green off the tee with a driver or a three wood. Uh, hole 17, uh, the tee shot demands distance and accuracy to avoid the penalty area on the left and leave a re reasonable approach. The second shot plays uphill and demands accuracy. There will be bunkers on the right side of the green and the left side falls off to the left. Uh, so two good shots here will lead to a nice par. Hole 18. It's a great par 5 to finish. You want to aim towards the cart barn off the tee to avoid the bunkers on the right of the green. This is a great birdie opportunity as it is a shorter par 5, but you must hit a great tee shot and try to find a fairway so you can have a good opportunity to go for the green too.